good morning to everyone in my last uh, session i was dealing with nurse patient relationship where i have already dealt with the um, what is nurse, what is npr what are the phases of npr so from uh, today i will deal with the what are the components of uh, nurse patient relationship i deal with the components and the characteristics of nurse patient relationship so before going to component and characteristics i'll overview with the definition part and the physics part so um, as you know that npr which denotes nurse patient relationship that is a relationship between nurse and the patient so it's a helping relationship and a therapeutic relationship which uh, occur in between of uh, uh, in between nurse and the patient with the specific purpose and that specific purpose is to achieve the health related needs of the patient and provide better or quality care to that patient and there are four phases of npr as you can see pre interaction phase introductory phase working phase and the last phase is termination phase so as i have said that i'll deal with the characteristics of nurse patient relationship so there are many qualities or many characteristics uh, which is present in that relationship so uh, the npr means the relationship between nurse and the patient is the cornerstone of every uh, field of nursing whether it is clinical whether it is medical field whether it is surgical field whether it is a psychiatry field so it is there in every field of nursing and it may form everywhere or anywhere where the nurse and the patient are present whether it is form forming in uh, clinics nursing care homes hospitals home visit everywhere it can form so in that nurse patient relationship it is the the characteristic is that the observation and understanding of behavior is a primary concern it should be a primary concern the nurse should observe the behavior of patient and 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 both will understand or both has to understand the behavior of each person and the second characteristic will be the mutual learning experience the both nurse and the patient the both parties are learning towards or with each other nurse is learning how to treat patient how to uh, identify patient patient's problem or how to uh, uh, how to provide ease to that patient's problems uh, where uh, patients are learning how to communicate how to speak of then and they both are learning they both are the both patient and nurse are in a same phase learning phase and the third characteristic will be it is based on belief that patient has or the nurse has potential as a result of result to grow the potential fullest potential result so uh, that means the both know their strength capabilities the nurse will know their capabilities that in how many time in how much time patient can be recovered at the same time patient knows his or her own. then uh, next uh, sub topic is components of npr so there are multiple components multiple elements of nurse patient relationship which forms the uh, which helps to form the uh, npr that relationship between nurse and patient 
so first one is rapport so rapport is a relationship is a healthy relationship or a trustworthy relationship which which is occurring between nurse and the patient so a rapport is a relationship or a communication a communication especially when useful and harmonious it is essential part of therapeutic relationship between nurse and the patient so nurse establishes rapport through demonstration of understanding then the second uh, component is empathy empathy is an ability to feel with patient while retaining the ability to critically analyze the situation or you can say it is an ability to put oneself in someone others some other person circumstances or place so it is an ability to putting oneself into others person place then the third uh, component of or element of nurse patient relationship is genuineness the relationship or the communication or the conversation among the nurse and the patient should be genuine so genuineness means nurse will open honest and real in front of patient while interacting with the patient nurse cannot share any fake promises nurse cannot share any fake information any fake diagnosis any fake reports or any fake medical um, uh, medical prescriptions to patients nurses has to be genuine all the time has to be honest or real while talking to the patient do they cannot share any fake information to the patient or they cannot make any fake promises with the patient that if the nurse is doing this then the nurse patient relationship may get affected so genuineness should be there then the third is respect respect has to be there a respect shows as to believe in the dignity and worth of the patient regardless to his or her acceptance or behavior if the patient is not accepting oneself then the respect will change the perspective of that patient if you are continuously giving respect to that patient that can change you cannot call uh, patient by any uh, relationship titles like brother brother in law or anything no you cannot nurse has to call patient by their name or by their title if the patient is using any title then you have to call patient by name then you have to spend more time with patient you have to you have to spend more time with patient and have to share uh, respect towards patient as to give respect to that patient so that you can take respect from the patient then the next is trust so the trust is the another most important element of nurse patient relationship where it shows confidence reliability integrity and sincere desire to provide assistance when requested the trust is a basic of therapeutic relationship the trust working in uh, every field whether it is in psychiatry or any medical surgical um, department or anywhere so it is a basic thing so if you are uh, trusting each other in if the patient is trusting you or you are trusting patient then the relationship will be more successful or more trust more effective then there are some dynamics of therapeutic uh, nurse patient relationship there are three dynamics of therapeutic nurse relationship that is therapeutic use of self 
gaining self awareness and the chauri window so we will continue with the therapeutic use of self therapeutic use of self is nothing but defined as a ability to use one's self one's personality or one's self consciously in attempt to establish relatedness and the structure of nursing interventions that means nurse has to use their own personality consciously to provide or to meet patient's need or to meet patient's challenges then the second dynamic is self awareness the process self awareness is the process of understanding one's own belief one's own values motivation bias limitations strength thought weaknesses so it is it is a dynamic it is a process where the individual or the nurse will understand their own capabilities potentials their own strength her own weaknesses uh, motivation motives desires so that this these all care components will affect the nurse patient relationship it is working as a dynamics in that so the third dynamic is zohari window Johari window is a uh, sort of model where there are four components present. First is open self, where person is completely aware about oneself, completely knowing about oneself, like his own weaknesses, his own strength. So information about oneself. and uh, with that person will also know about others too for example if the nurse is or uh, nurse is aware about oneself then the nurse will also uh, aware about the patient's strength and weaknesses what are the fears of patient what are the weaknesses what are the uh, limitations of patient that nurse will know if she knows what owns weaknesses and strength then the second quadrant there are four quadrant then the second quadrant is blind self in blind self information about oneself is not known but others will know your self like person will not aware about oneself person will not aware about his own weaknesses and strength but the other person who knows you who are familiar with you that will know your weakness weaknesses and strength or your um, sort then the third quadrant is hidden self hid in hidden self information person will aware about oneself but the person will hide his own weaknesses and strength to others he will hide his own uh, about himself and others will not known about unknown about uh, that person's abilities and in unknown self person will unaware about oneself not neither the other person will know about you neither you will aware about you so there they are four quadrants johari window johari window was introduced by johari and window they, it ha, it denoted as four quadrant where four quadrants are present open self blind self hidden self and unknown self that's it for nurse patient relationship there are some references of book and internet you can refer uh, nurse patient relationship all the uh, this uh, components phases of nurse patient relationship from these many books